Good morning, Eagles. Happy Hybrid Monday. It is time for us to start another amazing Olin Day. Every day we take a moment to honor our country with the Pledge of Allegiance. At this time, I'd like you to please stand and face the flag. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Eagles, today I'd like to talk to you about making good choices. Do you like to read stories with happy endings? In many of our favorite storybooks, someone has to make a hard choice before there can be a happy ending. It may be a choice to be honest, kind, or simply to do the right thing when our friends are making bad decisions. Have you ever made a poor choice and things turned out badly? The best way to make a good choice in the future is to listen to the good advice of those who care about you. Listen to these words. Our choices help us decide what will happen next in our life. We all want to have good things happen in our lives, right? So do your best to make choices that will help you find your own happy ending. That's really good advice. Today's featured lunch item is your choice of, it's loading one second, my friend, your choice of a chicken tamale or an all-American beef burger or a grilled cheese sandwich. You also get carrot bags and broccoli and sliced apples and a tangerine and raisins and craisins and milk and cranberries. Mm -mm, yummy. Thank you, food services staff, for providing the children in Brea with delicious and nutritious meals. Today's animal facts are about the flying snake. So that's what it looks like when it's not flying. And that's what it looks like when it is flying. There's one more picture to help with this. So on the left, you can see it hanging off of a tree branch. And on the other side, you can see what it looks like when it's flying. So let's talk about this animal, because I didn't know too much about it until Brandon suggested that we do it as an animal fact. A flying snake can be between two and four feet in length, and usually they're green in color. They live in Southeast Asia, and they are known to eat lizards, birds, bats, frogs, and rodents. They are diurnal, which means they are active during the day, which is when they hunt all those animals I just mentioned. The flying snake doesn't actually fly, but it does glide. By using ridge scales located along its belly, it can climb vertically up a tree by pushing those ridges against the bark. It will then dangle itself off the edge of a branch in a J-shaped bend as it leans forward to choose its landing spot. Then the snake flings itself off by thrusting its body. Small ones actually glide farther than big ones, and they jump from tree to tree to hunt. They can go up to 300 feet per glide, which is kind of far. Now, scientists are actually studying the flying snake to learn about the mechanics of how they do this gliding motion because they would like to use those physics with robots to help robots glide as well. Pretty cool, huh? That's enough about the flying snake. It is time for me to go and for you to learn. Let's soar, Olinda, and make it a great day. Fly by, eagles.